Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to troubleshoot VPN error 800. You've probably seen one of my video tutorials on creating and accessing a VPN, and it seems you can connect to that uh, VPN you created. What I will do is I'll create a fast VPN server and access from a client within the network and outside the network. This tutorial is designed to provide solutions to your non-connecting VPN server. If you want to learn how to create and access a VPN server, click on any of the thumbnails of the operating system that applies to you. So let's begin. Okay now, let's go to Network Adapters here, press the Alt button, File, New Incoming Connection, select a user. This user must have a password. Okay. Don't create a password from here. Go to Users and Computers and create the password there. Next, I'll leave everything default here like I usually say on all my video tutorials. I'm actually going to click on Properties and make sure that everything is default and then Allow Access. Record the name because you might need it in the future. Okay, done. The VPN server is created. Now I need the IP address of this VPN server. As you can see, incoming connection created. Perfect. There's a Windows key plus R, and then type CMD, enter for the uh, command prompt, and here type ipconfig, and it'll give you the IP address and the default gateway. You need both, so write those down, and I uh, keep repeating myself. Perfect. Now, from the client computer within the LAN, I can I stress it more? Within the LAN, you have to test it within the LAN first because if it doesn't work from the LAN, it does, it's not going to work from the WAN. So go to Settings, VPN Settings, and here, because I'm using Windows 10 as a client, enter the following. VPN Provider is a Windows Build. Connection Name, this is up to you. I'm going to call it Avoid Errors. Server IP Address, this is the LAN IP address we just got. 10.0.0.17 keep in mind if it you have to test it from the LAN first okay and enter the username and password of the user you selected when you created the VPN server done now click on the VPN connection you just created and click on connect this is an unedited video done I'm connected there's no tricks of 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 any sorts I'm not leaving anything out I am connected now if I go to the server here you'll notice that it has one connection and it has the name of the user connected and the pat the firewall is actually on and I usually recommend to turn it off now let's access this from the WAN. To access this from the WAN, you need to configure the router. Now, because we connect it from the LAN, that means that when we connect from the WAN, we can isolate the problem to the router. Now, head over to the port forwarding section of the router. To access the router, you need to enter the uh, gateway IP address on your uh, search bar. Let's add a new uh, service and here enter the um, name and port. Port number 1723. I say this on all my video tutorials. Now you can manually enter the IP address or you can select it like in this case it's already it has a list in the bottom there. Oops, I did something wrong. Let's do this again. RDP again as a service name. Port 1723 the IP address of the VPN server. In this case is Windows 10. Apply. Done. Now, go to Google, type what is my IP address, and your IP should come up here. This is your WAN IP address. Now, all we need to do on the connection we just created on the client is to change the IP 
that's it because everything else is working some internet service providers do not allow you to connect to a VPN within the LAN using a WAN IP address you will need to use another PC with internet access located outside of your local area network now enter the same computer name oh, I'm sorry connection name avoid errors this that's optional you can rename it to however you wish but here server name address is the IP address the WAN IP address enter the username and password save now connect done extremely simple there it is an unedited video there's nothing there to hide it just went through on both and I didn't disable the firewall now make sure that if this doesn't work if you get an error go to the uh, DMC section and enter the IP address of the VPN server now some internet companies you would have to change the MTU size to 1492 this is key every time you make a change you need to retry the connection also uh, go to your adapter settings here on the server right click the uh, VPN connection not the local area connection the VPN connection you created right click properties go to networking make sure that internet protocol is selected go to properties and specify an IP address range that is over your your current uh, IP range being used in the company or at home this will also help you now additionally to this you can turn off the firewall of the VPN server at least temporarily until you get it working now there's two things that I want to mention if it works it doesn't mean that you need to leave the firewall off it just means that you need to configure the firewall properly to allow that VPN connection also the DMZ do not leave the PC on the DMC if it works on the DMC it might be that your firewall for some reason needs an update so update it and then try again to port forward don't leave the PC on the DMC the IP address Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.